to my channel. This channel is where we love to pinch our pennies and save our dollars using fun challenges. Um, in today's video, um, I am going to show you what Lady Di has made me do. This video is a lot about Lady Di for sure. So yes, let's get started. As you know, Lady Di has the cutest little tracker. Let me see if I can find it here. That she gives away, and it's the no sugar tracker. Boop, 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 boop. Let me, I'm not going to start over, but let me do this. I want to do my Fab Five shout outs. I need to start doing my Fab Five. I know I promised several of you I haven't found my little list yet. My office isn't put together yet, but um, I do have one of you on here that I promised. But anyway, let me just do the shout out. Our little Fab Five. Um, all these ladies will be linked in the bottom. So you can just go click on their channel. Um, Single Mom Life, Jennifer Marie. Um, she's she's a wonderful woman. I enjoy her. I enjoy watching her videos. Um, as of as of the filming of this, I looked and it was, she has under 100, just under 100. She has 91. So she's almost at her first 100. Um, if you're interested, I mean, if you're, you have any, please go and check out her channel. Let's get her over that 100 mark. You know, it's just that first, that first milestone. You know, all those 100 milestones when you're first starting is, is a big deal. And and so it's nice to just help them out. But please, just go check her out. Our next one, um, RBF Custom Budgets. Her name is Chelsea. She's four away from that 200. And so I want to put, wanted to do a shout out today for her. Um, we have Jen from Teach, Save, Travel. Um, Paula from Paula's Imperfect Plans. And then Karen, 3487. Um, Karen, I think has over a thousand. So, um, yeah, let's check her out. Maybe watch a few videos. Let's help her with her hours. So anyway, yeah, these are, these are ladies I enjoy. They're very supportive and, um, just wonderful ladies. So go ahead and check them out if you, if you are so inclined to do so. I know I appreciate it. I know they would too. So, okay. Back to Lady Di. Lady Di and her no sugar tracker that's probably going to change my life for the better. So... This whole video is about Lady Di, so get ready. Um, I'm sure everyone loves her probably as much as I do. So, yeah, she created this no sugar tracker. You can get it on her on her website. Um, so, yeah, it's it's in there somewhere. Just kind of watch where she's doing her trackers, and I think it's linked there. But anyway, um, so it's no sugar, and you keep track per day. So that got me started. And then she offers, you know, a few other ones. She has another one that I, I took. She actually has quite a few that I like, but I decided to make my own. Here's another one that she offers for free. It's no, do you remember your vitamins? So she's been, you know, trying to lose weight and she's trying getting healthier and she's sharing her trackers with us. So if you're interested, go and check those out. And I'm interested. So I checked them out and I printed up some, but then I also made some of my own. So Lady Di, I'm on this journey with you. I'm supporting you and I'm copying you and it's all your fault. But and I'll, this week, you know, I'm just starting. I'm craving some sugar right now. So I'm not thanking you right exactly, but thank you. And But there will be days I'll be thanking you. Someday I'll be like, oh, she changed my life. You're going to change my life, Lady Di. And I'm going to thank you. But today, all I can think about is I want some sugar. Okay, that's what I'm thinking right now. Alrighty, so that's, well, at the front, I'm going to have a little checklist here so I can kind of have a, a little, uh, what's the word, reference sheet real quick and keep track. But I made one to put on my fridge. And as you know, if you've watched my channels, I don't put anything on my fridge. Um, so yeah, Jennifer, your little llama card will be coming down. This goes up there. So because I'm a visual person. I really need to see that every day. And I can go up there and I can write little notes. I can I can make it messy. And then I'll, at the end of the day or every few days or whatever, I can come in and, and mark it on here on camera or not on camera. But So that is the plan. So let's just go through this. I'll say real quick, but you guys know I don't mean real quick, not when it comes to talking. Okay, so the first one is I wanna lose 40 pounds. Just that simple. So if I lose a pound, I'm going to give myself $5. I think it's the only one that's $5. The rest, I think, are a dollar. But I'm going to clap for myself and give myself. So, um, yeah, I, I'm older, so it's going to take, it's not as easy. 
not as easy, but it's, um, and I'm usually good for a couple weeks. Um, but that's the plan. And I've got, I'm, here's a little thing on top of that. Let me just show you this real quick. So this is something I made years ago. I think 2014, maybe a little bit before that. Um, I didn't have any books or anything and I want everything together. I know you're supposed to log things down and keep track of what you eat and all that kind of stuff. And I may or may not how much I'll do that, but I made this little book and even though it helped a lot, the idea was to have, I have a bunch of motivating quotes in here, just things to help me motivate me. I love this one. Watch your thoughts before they become words. Watch your words before they become actions. Watch your actions before they become habits. Habits, they become character. Watch your character before it becomes your destiny. That's a good one. But anyway, that's not really the most motivating one in here. But anyway, so every year I, I've done there, used this book, and I've had success. And then I've also made it, and then it just sat for a year. So I'm all over the board with this. But I do like having this little tool. So this year, I usually put something really sweet on there. And this time I wanted a little bit more, a little more of a dig I wrote. And this is the part where you find out who you are. And then on the front, so this book's for one month. You do, you, I have one for, I'll make one for every month. New month, new beginning, new mindset, new focus, new start, new intentions, and new results. And then that's not the first page. I have to fix this. That's actually what you would see on this page right here. So I punched it on the wrong place. I um, didn't notice it. So anyway, you, I'm going to put the date when you start, your starting weight, and then you might. And then every week you put your week. You put your week. Every week you put your week. Every week you put your weight. And so you have like a little reference. And then the, the second month, whatever your last week is, whatever your weight ended that week, that's would be your starting weight for the next month. I love this one. Three months from now, you'll thank yourself. I'll have my measurements, any notes. And then you turn the page, and when you turn the page, um, well, let me just go over here. Um, you have a place to put, keep track of what you eat or what you don't eat. Um, I think it probably helps when you're losing or not losing as much as you want, and you kind of see what your pattern is, what you can change. I had a place to remind me to do my vitamins twice a day, um, my walking, and then whatever I did, I wrote here, water. Like I said, I created this years and years ago, but it is helpful, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a try. Um, usually the second or third day I start getting really hungry and and if I don't I may or may not fail at that point I'll just eat whatever you know for, stop doing it but a little thing here dear stomach you are bored you're not hungry so shut up <laughs> and I've told my stomach that before but anyway every day for the month it's there's something in here um, yeah there's just I like this one if it's important to you you'll find a way if not you'll find an excuse Around 14, what's 14? No, nope, it's 15. Um, if you're tired, because it, about two weeks is when I'm, I kind of let it fall apart. That's kind of been my general pattern. I have had success. I went from eating a regular sad diet, standard American diet, because I wanted to go plant-based. And in the process realized I really want to go raw at some point. And that's what I was doing, and I was feeling amazing, and I was healthy, and the energy was through the roof, and my skin and hair, and everything was, was getting better. It was, it was amazing. But um, then my mom, you know, as you know, took care of my mom. She had a seizure, had came home to the hospital. She was total care, and um, she had to eat. She had swallowing issues. She had to eat very different. My husband and daughter ate different, or well, my husband and my daughter would eat whatever I gave her. She likes healthy, and then I would be eating only plant based kind of bordering on the raw and that is where I really am happy but it was too much for me to cook that two or three times a day like that so eventually I just went back to my old ways and that is where I want to get over that so anyway you go all the way to day 31 and then in the back I have a place to set some goals my reward um, my long-term reward I don't, and then any thoughts if there's 31 days, the book's only for 30. If there's 31 days, I always allow thir the day 31 to be my don't worry about it day. Just, you know, eat what you want. Now, there's that, you know, you have to be reasonable. You want to, you know, be really good most of the month and then all of a sudden just go crazy. But I won't be, I won't be writing anything down. I'll be preparing to go for the next month. That's the idea. Over here, I will... Um, 
write, write the pounds down to this way and then the dates over here. And since today's Wednesday, I'm starting today. Today's day one, November 1st. Um, I'll probably do every Wednesday. I'll keep track that way and watch that go up and down. And just a calendar on the back. And then on the back I wrote, set some goals, stay quiet about them, smash the you know what out of them, and clap for your own darn self. So that is just what I have there. This one, I had all a bunch of sweet stuff on here, right? And I went, no, I need, I need a little kick in the pants. So that's what I did. So that is for the, the weight loss one. That's my little tool to help me. I have lots of books. I have, you know, I'm older. I have lots of experience at this. <laughs> if you want to know the best way to eat healthy and, and to lose weight, talk to someone, you know, talk to an old lady who's still fat. She knows all the tricks, right? It's just, it's about staying motivated. So Lady Di, I'm here supporting you and I want you, I know that you'll be here supporting me and I think that's probably what I'm really looking for. Um, okay, so hydrate. I made my own hydrate. I've got little Ella on here. Oh, as you, I don't know if you can see here, but Ella's here with me. I love little Ella. Um, if you do, for those of you who don't know who she is, I, my, I've always had this thing for pink elephants, always. Um, I mean, started when I was a kid. Um, and my grandpa used to have these little, these little, um, glasses. Now I know they were shot glass. All I know is they were little pink elephants. They were just cute, giggly, like cartoony ones. It's so cute. So I just fell in love with them. Um, so anyway, my friend from Poland does not know that. And, um, and one day she sent this to me as a gift and I just love her. So we named her here on YouTube and the name that got picked was Ella. And so Ella's with me. So I have a little Ella. So the idea is to drink water every day. I've never been a huge water drinker, although I use carbonated water um, instead of sodas, but I've never wanted to drink 64. I don't, I don't know if I've ever even drank 64 ounces in a, in a day. But my goal right now on this is, okay, let me back up. The goal here is I would hopefully lose five pounds in the first month. That is the goal. Um, and continue going losing. I can lose five pounds in a month. That's not a problem. It's continuing it. Um, this one, I'm just going to, right now, I'm not really setting a goal. I'm going to try and do like 24 ounces. I know it doesn't sound like much. It probably won't be much, but I don't want to set goals and constantly fail them. I want to, I think I'll have more success if I, okay, I can do this. Let me push myself a little further and just keep doing that until I can get to, you know, the amount that I should have. Okay. Vitamins. Vitamins are not a problem for me to take. I have plenty of them. I buy very expensive ones that I love a lot and um and but I forget they're always in the cupboard so this right here and my little note right here my, this little card right here that I'm going to put on my fridge will help remind me so today I did take my vitamins I have taken vitamins today so I'm good um so I'll color this in later on um no sugar these are just a habit I've wanted to break for a long time um i Back in 2015, I had broken that, had very little sugar. Um, well, actually, in almost a year, I think one day we went and got these little teeny bite-sized cookies that opened up in town, and I bought four of them. My daughter had one, I had one, I took the other two home to my husband. So, it just, I couldn't believe how I could say no to sugar. I, that was my, that short time in my life was the only time I've ever been to say no to sugar. So, I'm gonna change that. Okay, the next one is walking. Um, used to walk a lot, my, but I haven't been, um, at, and I ask your doctor if getting off the couch is right for you. So my doctor would say yes. <laughs> my doctor is saying, do yoga, go exercise, walk. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. Um, again, a dollar a day, a dollar a day if I walk. Now I'm not setting a goal yet. Everything's so new. I kind of want to just kind of get a feel right now, at least this first week. Um, cause I want to just build up, especially anything physical like this, because when your back goes out and you can hardly move, yeah, it's, it's not, it's not comfortable. Let's just say that. Okay. So that's that. Namaste. My doctor, my chiropractor has been wanting me to do yoga since we've been working on my back the last couple of years. And I did start doing it for a while. And then, you know, the lazy me came out and I stopped doing it. So I do want to get back to yoga. Um, I so I for the, for now 
for this month, if I do anything, if I read about it, if I watch a video, if I do it, if I just stretch. Today, I went to, I had to go to the storage, I had to find my yoga stuff, pull it out, and get it set up. And that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's a win for today. Today, I'm gonna get my dollar for this one. Um, can't use those kind of, you know, that can't be like that every day, but that's how I am. Alrighty, and as you all know, I have this thing about Paris. I had this as a little girl one to go to Paris. Um, and, okay, I gotta tell you a funny, funny one, my daughter. So anyway, I've always wanted to go to Paris. Everyone knows it just hasn't happened. I've traveled to other places, but didn't get to make it there yet. Um, like I said before, I don't know if it's really about France or if it's really about the romance of Paris from Hollywood. I don't know, but um, I will say a little girl, more of a preteen teenager. So anyway, with that being said, years ago, I started practicing French self-teaching YouTube. I have a program that I love to use. Um, now there's all these apps. And I was just doing pretty well. I was, you know, it was starting to come along. I was getting where the accents down, and, you know, a little bit better. Words start to sound familiar. I watched a lot of French movies, starting to feel it. Um, studied regularly. Um, but then I'm going, you know, you're never going to go to France. And honestly, Spanish is, I just want to be a polyglot. If you want to know the truth, that's my deep down. I just want to be a polyglot. I want to, you know, learn multiple languages. Now that and, you know, it just seems impossible to me. So my retention is weak. So, but anyway, I decided I think Spanish, will, I could actually use it around here and, you know, when I go places. So with that being said, I decided to take Spanish. Okay, here's the story. So my daughter calls me up and she was telling me, she works for a company that she was telling me that when she's been there 30 years, they give their employees two round trip tickets anywhere in the world they want to go. And, um, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. And she goes, I know, it's so exciting. Da -da. And I says, well, if you get two tickets, you better take me to Paris. <laughs> so she says, mom, if I get anywhere in my life, get two round trip tickets anywhere in the world, I promise I'll take you to Paris. I said, yay. So a couple days later, this was just a few days ago. So a day or two later, I call her and I says, hey, I'm practicing French. And she goes, for what? I said, because you said you're taking me to Paris. She goes, Oh, you mean when I told you if I ever got any free round trip tickets to Paris, I'd take you to Paris? I go, oh no, I didn't hear that. I just heard you're taking me to Paris. So we had a good laugh and we decided that in the future, it's not going to be right away, but that it, it, she's definitely will plan for that and we'll talk about that. So um, then I talked to my younger daughter and she goes, I want to go to Paris. So anyway... That whole little vacation binder I have where I says just might be a dream, but I'm still going to try. Well, we're one step closer to becoming a reality now. So anyway, I decided ditch the Spanish for now. I love I love Spanish. My husband, you know, my husband speaks Spanish. My daughter used to speak Spanish pretty good. Her husband had a mission in Sp in, in um, a Spanish-speaking country. I lived, moved up northern Utah where everyone was whiter than me. And as you see, I'm not, you know, I'm very white. And everyone I knew spoke Spanish. And I'm like, okay, I'm the only person with a Spanish last name in this community. And I'm the only one that doesn't speak <laughs> doesn't speak Spanish. I mean, every blonde haired blue-eyed person doesn't speak Spanish. So it's important for me to learn that, but I really love doing this one. So I went back to this one and got rid of the Spanish books, went and got the French books, and I've been working on that one. So today, starting today, I did study. So I'm on my way. That one won't be a problem for me to get my study and I think, it, I think I'll be fine. And that's a dollar, so. And then one more little thing here, this is my own little thing. I've been wanting to do some no spending with moving and then having to move three months later because um, where we went, the landlord wants, wants to come back. I knew they were gonna come back, but we thought we had a few months, um, a few more months, but anyway, um, with that, we just went through money like water, literally, between moving twice, finding a place for the trailer, um, eating out all the time, paying for people to help us, cleaners, all the stuff that goes with moving, as you know. Literally, it would have felt like is you dip your hand in some water and the water runs through your fingers. Yeah, that's what, that's what I do with my money. That's what happened this month. So I decided November 1st, my husband and I are going on a no spin. So I'm going to do that. My goal here is... Um, is 
it does, like it's just for things that aren't necessary. So if we go out to eat, then I, then that's count as a no, that count is my spending. But if I go and buy groceries or buy something necessary, I will be buying a Christmas gift, but I do have a Christmas fund for that, so that's not going to be included. So it's unnecessary spending, basically unnecessary spending. So anyway, I got this tracker from Budgets with Elma. I'll put her link here below. I made this one. I made that one. I made that one. If anybody wants anything, I can get my daughter to put it on a link for me, but I would have to let me know because it's I don't want to do the work if no one's really interested. This one's from Lady Die Saves. Lady Die Saves. I made that one. I made that one. And I made that one. Okay, so Budget with Elma, Lady Die Saves. I think that's it. And then me. Okay. That's a lot. But there you go. That's what I'm starting this month. I might be cranky. I, I am looking for all the friendship and support I can get because I don't want to quit. I want this to be successful. Okay. Now, so Lady Di made me do that. And then, well, she didn't make me do this, but she, it's her fault I did it. Oh, no, it's not her fault. It's her fault I'm copying her. I feel like I'm, I'm acting like a like a stalker or a, you know crazy fan so well, i kind of am a crazy fan lady Di, just so you know but she, this one's okay because she invites people she lets people know where she got her binder and she encourages it so i took it i love that if you aren't watching this she has a cupcake binder it's actually a wallet way cuter than this one but and inside she has you know, her cupcake challenge in there and she does shorts. So go and watch her shorts at Lady Dice Saves. They're so cute. She has voiceovers. Some are really funny. I, I just love that. That's my one of my favorite things. I always go and look for those shorts. So um, I did not get the binder that she had. I already had a pink binder. Um, and I have a Cricut. So all I had to do was buy a sticker. So I bought a sticker. And um, I made my own. And that's what I'm going to show you. So... Before I open this up, I want to do a little shout out. Um, I got a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago actually, um, um, Jennifer Marie from um, Single Mom, Single Mom's Life, Jennifer Marie, she had let me know in the comments that her and her daughter were watching my videos. Um, so I asked her, you know, can I have her daughter's name and do a shout out? Because I think that's so sweet. And she said yes. So, Lacey, if you are watching this, hey girl, hi. Um, I want to be cupcake friends with you. So, um, so if you're interested, just let me know. But either way, when I got my cupcake, I got two of them in case I messed up. Well, because I wanted to eat two of them. But I only needed one. So I want to give this cupcake to you, Lacey. I'm going to email, the, I'm going to mail this to you. I know your address. And you don't have to be my cupcake friend if you don't want to, but if you do, let's be cupcake friends. But either way, I'm also gonna send you $10 to go with it because I want you to go get either you and your mom or you and a friend some cupcakes. So I'm gonna be sending this out to you. I wanna thank you for watching my video or videos. And um, yeah, when you're in the comment and when you watch, let's leave something in the comment. Let me know you're there, okay? So she's my first child I think that watches it um that I know of so anyway yeah Lacey if you want to be cupcake pals let's be cupcake pals okay um let's get to this real quick so in this I have um I have this little saying I was going to put that on the front I wrote I want I actually meant to put something else and I forgot until after I'd already done it but I still like this one friends don't let friends eat cupcakes alone you got that lady die I'm doing this with you so you don't have to eat your cupcake alone Alrighty, and Lacey, that's for you too. Don't let me eat my cupcakes alone, although I'm doing no sugar right now, but we'll pretend. We'll pretend I'm eating cupcakes. Okay, so I was gonna put this on there and then I was and then decided I liked it as a front, but this is from Managing Marcy. It says, watch your sweet, because sweet savings stack up. And I it's perfect, right? If we watch our sweets with the with that little sugar challenge and we pay ourselves and we don't eat it, it stacks up. So I just love that. Anyway, so this first one is all the ones in here from Rock's Budgets. She has um, all these little sweets here and everything's gonna be a dollar. 
Okay. And then the next one is from Paper Bucket on Etsy. I love that little gumball machine. I had to cut it out to fit, but um, those will be a dollar. And I have always have a lot of dollar bills. My husband gives me his dollars. I save our dollars. We're going through them. I've saved them from family. And then I just start spending them. And then I try and save some more or put them in challenges. So a dollar is just perfect for me right now. Just kind of what we're doing. I'm going to go this way. Okay, this is from Frugality is Life. Love her. I'm going to make those dollars. Look how pretty those are. Can you see them? Hopefully I've got them in frame. Coffee shop, coffee shop. Yeah, super cute. I don't do coffee, but I sure do all the sweets that are sitting there. Wouldn't turn those away. No, -uh, I'm not. Well, I will now. I will now, starting today. Remember, I don't eat sugar starting today. November 1st is my day. Caramel apples. Haven't had those in years, but I wouldn't say no to those. Well, I will now. And that's from Weekly, W H E K L Y. I'll link it below. Budgets on Etsy. So I just got some sugar stuff. I had some of this already, and then I got a couple more, which I've been on Etsy. I've been on Etsy, Jenna. I didn't want to go back until after holidays, but I really wanted to do this for my health. So I feel like this is a necessity. Oh, this is just a envelope that I had from someone else. So maybe for this one. And these are donuts. Okay, I love donuts. There's, I'm very picky about them, which I like, but I love them. I don't like sprinkles on them. I think I love seeing them, but I don't like to eat them. It takes away from the what I like about a donut. So anyway, those are all going to be a dollar each. Isn't those pretty? And those are from Quaint Prince Boutique on Etsy. Okay, and the next one, did I do the last one too? I'll make sure I get everybody. Oh yeah, I did that one. Okay, now this one, this is the from Managing Marcy. That is the envelope. And then here's the, I just shrunk it down. It's really a big one. And I'll make those for a dollar, so. Okay, and then the next one is lollipops. I try to get a variety of sweets. Um, yeah, just little suckers. Yummy, yummy. I can do a sucker. Um, Lex with cotton candy. Not a big cotton candy I'm older, but um, if I go somewhere with cotton candy, uh, someone else gets it, I'll, I'll grab a little chunk and eat it. You know, who am I fooling, right? If someone gave me one, I'd eat the whole thing. Let's just be honest. If it's sugar, I'll eat it. So, and this was just a miscellaneous one. Okay, this one back up. Diva Budgets Co. CO on Etsy. That's where I got that one. Um, this one is, let me see here. It's on here. Sister on a Budget on Etsy. Okay. And then this one is Mama's Who, Mama, Mama's Who Budget. Those are all just going to be dollar. They have big numbers, 25, 35. I'm just, they're just going to be a dollar. Everything's a dollar in here. Alrighty, so there is that. So now I just want to stuff it. Stuff it. I have some ones. I had saved 25 L's. I usually put the L's in my pocket for me for spending. I did do a Starbucks with it. So I think I have like 15 here. Two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Correct. So this is what I did with my um my Zodiac where I rolled the dice and I fill it with what is. Oh, I have to show. Okay, hold on. Yes, I have squirrel moment. My, remember this little thing? This little elephant from Jennifer Marie. So, and her daughter Lacey sent that to me. So I got to use it today. All right, I'm going to set this aside. And we're going to roll the dice and we're going to see how much, see which number it goes in. Now this is the six dice, up to six I have seven, so we're just going to ditch the bottom one for now. In fact, let's do this. No, I'll just leave it. No, we'll see where it goes. So one through six. Actually, I don't know why I feel bad. Like these aren't people. They're not going to get their feelings hurt. But I'm going to put the dollar in the last one so it gets one since it got cheated. Okay. There we go. Ugh, once a mom, always a mom, I guess. I'm gonna bring it this way so I can. Okay. So there's, let's see now. 
number six. So that's seven, so this will be number six right here. Okay, I need to get the little sort quick. Remember when I was uh, working in banking years ago, we used that a lot. Okay, there's a dollar. Actually, put that one over there too. Alrighty. Five, well, just keep on going. And three, two, and three. Oh, I love this one. I want to color this one. Alrighty. Two. So, let's see, was there anything else I wanted to talk about? Nope, not really. Not, I mean, I have, I have lots of things to talk about. Number five. Let's go seven, six, five. Five again. I gotta get a little roll going here. Let's see if I can get a little roll, give a roll. Two, there we go. That's how you play the game. One. Did I do two or did I do three in the wrong place? I did. Wasn't that one of three? I think it was. I don't think it was a two. It's my first two. So we're going to do that, and we're going to put two, two here. Now, now we're right, I hope. If not, oh well, let's all go in the same place in the end. Okay, there's seven, there's six. Cotton candy's going to get filled up fast. Four, six, five, four. Um... Gosh, one, see, why can I not do two things at once anymore? What is going on? I think I'm just going to get back in the game here a little bit. Five. Seven, six, five. Okay. Six. Three. Yay. There's one. Two and three. Reality is life. Four. Ooh, first one and four. Did they all get one now? I think they did. Last one. One. Alrighty. Okay, so there is one. We've got one, two, three, four. Oh. Hold on. One, two, three, four. I've been putting fives in the wrong one. I've been putting in fours or fives. I'm putting here. Oh my goodness. Okay. No, that was that was right. Three. Let me check this out again because this one messed me up. I'm going to take that out of there. One, two. That's correct. Three. I had at least one. Four, I had that one. Five had some, I kept putting in here. Okay, I'm just gonna put one here. I messed up, but you know what? I'm craving sugar. I'm craving sugar right now. Maybe I shouldn't be doing these challenges. Maybe it's a message. Alrighty, people. My favorite people's on, on the internet. Thank you for spending this time with me. I know you have options. I'm so appreciative that you chose to watch this channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. So I would love for you to be penny pinchers with, with me and with everyone here. So until next time, a penny saved is a penny earned. Bye-bye.